welcome all of you to attend this webinar about integrating sustainable demand goal into corporate sustainability. Uh, I'm Felix Lam of Green Council. I will be the moderator to stay with you for the whole day. Um, I have some technical reminder for you. If you cannot see me in a full screen, please try to double click the screen. There will be a Q&A section immediately after the speaker presentation. You may pose any question to the speaker during the presentation. Uh, if you're using the PC, you are, please find the question box to type your question. If you are using uh, the, the, the mobile phone or handset, use the question mark at the top. After the <clears throat> seminar, we will send you a feedback survey form. Please provide your subjection to us for our future improvement. Um, there will be an attendance certificate, which will be issued after you uh, complete the survey. Um, after the webinar, all the PowerPoint will be uploaded to the website and the uh, presentation of the speaker will also be captured in video. You will find the video in our website after, the, um, after this uh, webinar. Um, without the uh, following support, without the following support, we could not organize this seminar. Many thanks to these 17 supporting organization who helped to promote this webinar. And we also thank many thanks to the uh, following 11 speaker. They are leader in sustainable development from different industry and organization. Thank you for the time to prepare the PowerPoint and also their presentation today on this seminar. Um, we also welcome the member from the corporate membership program and the member from the sustainable procurement charter. Without all the above mentioned support, we shall not have over um, 400 registration. Um, this is the one down for the AM section. And during the uh, morning section, we have speaker to share about uh, about the SDG. How is it important? Why is it important? And and how to report about the uh, SDG? And we also have the speaker to to talk about the um, the about the uh, sustainability. How does it impact on the reputation for the PM section for the PM section we have different data also um, to, to to share their journey in sustainability and how they lead the change of the organization from conventional to the um, sustainability. Okay, then let me start first. Let's go for the SDG. I would like to have a very brief introduction about Green Council. Green Council was established in year 2000. We are an environmental organization and certification body with non-profit making status and charity status. We start with the a lot of the environmental project and initiative, and then we transform and initiate a lot of the sustainability program to mobilize the private and public sector to pursue sustainability. Some of the um, corporate initiative are we are the certification body for the ISO management standard. We also issue the Hong Kong Green Label Scheme for the Green Product. We are the organizer of the Hong Kong Green Award to recognize outstanding company in environmental management and governance. We also provide the um, sustainability assessment rating for the company 
to evaluate the company's sustainability infrastructure maturity, maturity uh, with the support, the technical support from the PwC. Um, we, for the sustainable workplace assessment, it will be launched in the next year. Um, we also have the sustainable procurement charter. We guide the company to implement ISO to uh, 20,400. It is a standard for sustainable procurement. Okay. In the recently, the UN has released the SDG progress report. I would like to share some of the findings with you to explore how sustainable are we. I summarize the SD, SDG progress in the East and Northeast Asia region, including China, Korea, Hong Kong, Macau, and also Japan. For the goals about poverty, hunger, health, and education, this region has achieved um, quick progress or on track to 2030 target. Although the, 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 the um, uh, but the thing is, uh, talking about the poverty, Hong Kong poverty rate was still high, talking about 20%. 20%. This figure is still relatively high um, um, compared with other countries. Um, although the COVID-19 posed some short-term problem or some interruption, but um, it's only short-term, but overall for those, for the first four, we are quite, this region is doing quite good. For the number five, talking about the um, gender equality, this region only has little progress. The percentage of managerial position between men and women are still quite quite in balance. Okay. For the goals about the clean water, clean energy, decent work, industry and infrastructure, this region also has achieved um, quite quick progress or on track to the 2030 targets. Um, but but other, although it's quite good, but we still need to focus on the, especially in Hong Kong, we still need a faster growth for the renewable energy. And um, because of the COVID-19, um, there will be some effect on the economy. Um, some of the economy might be going to the recession and the manufacturer might also be hit due to the disruption in the global value change and the supply of the product. But for the 10, talking about reduce the equality and also these other four, other five, talking about the um, go on sustainable city, sustainable consumption and production pattern, climate change, life below water, life on land, you will see that all the um, six goals has very little to lead to progress. Um, like, like the um, sustainable consumption and production, our material consumption still at an increasing way. We generate a lot of e-waste and, and also the food, one third of the food is lost or wasted. And for the climate change, greenhouse gas level continue to raise and climate change occurring much faster than anticipated. Some people might estimate that because of the COVID-19, it might improve air pollution, it will reduce consumption and production. But, but the fact is um, the climate data does not support. CO2 level is still going peak. We we call the global hottest May. And in recently, June and July, we also have the very serious flooding in the 
China, India, and also um, Japan. Uh, in fact, over half of the SDG have been in a very slow progress in this region. There are plenty opportunity for business to work on how to start it, how to start. Recently, Green Council have developed a, a goal for SDG engagement action checklist for our corporate member to check whether they are um, by competing, talking about uh, 60, 60 question, um, will help our member to check whether their current business practice have addressed the SDG. It will be good for their benchmarking and also identify opportunity for the um, improvement. Following this kind of um, cell check or so-called body check, we all we will have our member to build their capacity through different kind of training workshop, seminar, technical visit in networking. This is uh, this seminar is one of the seminar. And uh, for last week, we also have a full day, full day uh, training workshop on the managing the carbon footprint management. In fact, we got about 400 um, attendancy, but it's of course online uh, to learn about carbon footprint management. And we will definitely we will have other other uh, training workshop coming. Yeah. Um, after this, all this event will be free for our member, of course, subject to the availability. And anyway, if you are interested to join, please contact us. Now, is this the show time for our outstanding leader? Okay, thank you.